Fantasy Island is an adventure comedy and horror film starring Lucy Hale, Maggie Q, Jimmy O. Yang, Ryan Henson, Michael Pena, and Austin Stowell, amongst others. It is directed by Jeff Wadlow. The film is based on the American TV series of the same name. The story begins with a group of people who arrive on a beautiful island in a chartered plane. The island is owned by Mr. Rock, played by Michael Pena, who welcomes the group with an enticing adventure that awaits them, wherein they can live out their fantasies since they won this once-in-a-lifetime trip in a contest. However, he insists that a fantasy must play out to its logical conclusion. Naturally, the group accepts that at face value, and off they go. Along the way, we get some background into these characters as we see them live out their fantasies. But, as things always do in such films, it doesn't take long before these fantasies turn horribly wrong. Now, this is a wacky sounding premise, and I, for one, always look forward to such movies that can take you anywhere. They have the potential to be wildly entertaining, and I always prefer when they embrace their absurdity and run along with it. That being said, there's a wide gap between irreverent, escapist popcorn flicks and tedious slogs that make you wonder how did this go so wrong. Fantasy Island wildly jumps from one end of the spectrum to the other. Its biggest problem is that it simply can't tell if it wants to be a horror thriller, adventure, drama, or even tragedy. This is reflected in the fantasies that play out as subplots. Some of them are actually quite engaging and give you some insight into who these people are while trying to address the larger question, if you could wish for anything different in your life, what would that be? But because this film doesn't know where it wants to go, there's no scope for exploring the depths of the human mind and our deepest, darkest desires. Instead, it quickly turns into a mess of ideas that often becomes ridiculous without being entertaining in any way. The subplots move from one to the next without warning and without logic. In fact, the rules of the fantasies keep changing and when the characters ask, how is this possible? You're often left wondering exactly that. When a film throws logic out of the window without giving any definite answers, it requires a crazy amount of absurd humor to balance it out because at least then you know we're not supposed to take this too seriously. It's just meant to be fun. Sadly, one of the key elements missing from the script is humor and whatever poor attempts are made fall flat. So the movie ends up taking itself too seriously, which backfires. This reflects on the cast as well, who don't seem to know which way to go with their characters. That said, a few of the performances could give you a glimpse of what could be if more time was spent on the screenplay and script. The biggest victim of this issue is Michael Pena as Mr. Rock. We've seen Michael Pena do some really fun takes on his characters, but this film and script gives him a persona that's very hard to figure. As a result, Pena seems to be sleep-talking through most of his lines. Talk about a wasted opportunity with a good actor. There's another actor who shows up later in the film who's also known for his quirky roles and his arc in this film goes nowhere as well. It's quite baffling, really. And that's the feeling you'll get while watching Fantasy Island. Baffled. By the time you get to the third act, after the inevitable surprise reveal, you realize this movie has become too convoluted to make much sense anymore and ends up becoming tedious. Which is why I'm going with two and a half stars for Fantasy Island. This is another victim of a promising premise that goes so off the rails that it takes off into another dimension altogether. And while I, for one, welcome such crazy ideas, but crazy ambitious film ideas need really good writing to pull them off, and Fantasy Island doesn't have the adequate amount for that. Guys, thanks so much for watching this review. For more reviews, interviews, and box office stories, keep watching, because if it's entertainment, you'll find it here on E! Now.